A very good afternoon to all our viewers and welcome to Lunchtime News, live and direct from the NASA studios here in Colombo. For the NASA team, I'm Azra Hassan. Before we head into our stories in detail, let's take a look at the headlines. Three persons, including an infant, fall prey to an accident in Putuhara. A fuel train derails in Vaunia. Northern railway line obstructed. Prices of vegetables increased by over 50% of its original price. On to our lead story now, Prime Minister Rani Vikramasinghe departed for Japan on an official visit this morning. Prime Minister's office said that the Premier is also set to meet with his Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe. The Prime Minister is also scheduled to attend several programs with significance to both countries. A 10-member delegation, including Minister of Special Assignment Dr. Sarat Tamungama, Minister of Development Strategies and International Trade Malik Samara Vikrama, and Member of Parliament Professor Ashumara Singha have also joined the visit. Today is Bak Full Moon Poe Day, which celebrates the second visit of Lord Buddha to Sri Lanka. This holy day celebrates the second visit of the Buddha to Sri Lanka, which took place in the fifth year of his supreme enlightenment. In order to reconcile two local chiefs, Mohodara and Chulodara, uncle and nephew, who had fallen into disagreement and were threatening hostility over a throne beset with jewels. Mahavamsa also records that Buddha was accompanied by a deity to Sri Lanka. Buddha settled the dispute and the next development of events. Buddhist devotees engaged in a number of religious observances to mark several incidents which took place in Buddhist history on a day like today. The health sector has warned the general public to take necessary precautionary measures in order to minimize accidents that could occur during the new year season. Director of the Colombo National Hospital, Dr. Anil Jasinghe, said there is a tendency for a spike in the rate of accidents, including motor accidents, during the festive season. He notes that all precautions should be taken to prevent accidents from taking place. Dr. Jasinghe also said that those with chronic health problems should take extra precaution when participating in New Year activities. Three people, including a child, has died following a motor accident that occurred in Boyagana in Potuhara. The police said that the accident had occurred near Boyagana along the Kalambu Kurunagala Road when a three wheeler travelling towards Kurunagala had collided with the Tibber truck. Following the accident, the driver of the three wheeler, two passengers, and a two year old child who suffered injuries from the accident had been admitted to the Kurunagala Hospital where the driver, one of the passengers, and the child had succumbed to their injuries. The police said that the deceased included a 26 year old youth from Inumanua. His daughter and another woman is yet to be identified. The police further noted that the driver of the tipper truck has been arrested over the accident. On to one of our headline-making stories, the railway control room said that a fuel train travelling from Anuradhapura to Vaunia has derailed near the Vaunia railway station. It also said that there is a delay in the trains operating along the northern railway line via Vaunia as a result of the derailment. Missions are underway to place the train back on tracks. Speaking at an event held in Denia yesterday, Minister of Law and Order and Southern Development, Sagla Ratnayaka, expressed these views. We do everything after looking at the future of the people. Many are waiting, thinking that the government will go after the end of the new year or at the end of Vesak. This government will not go like that. This government was created in collaboration by President Maitri Palasirisena and the UNP to serve the country, to serve the people, to do a better service and to do it honestly. The UNP and President Maitri Palasirisena have not given up on this target. We are still working together to achieve that target. The Dumble Economic Center says that the prices of vegetables have increased over 50% of its original price. Chief organizer of the center, Ranjit Amrawansa, said that the price of potatoes, cabbage, leeks and tomatoes have increased. Bert Vijay Singha, a former Sri Lankan cricketer and coach, died at the age of 96. Let Vijay Singha, an all-rounder who bowled off-spin and medium pace, represented St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia, from 1936 to 1939. Vijay Singha is also remembered as one of the prominent cricket commentators who provided ball-by-ball -ball commentary on radio.